Yeah, he was good. That was about the only inning he had some count advantages that he didn't take advantage of. That uh, he got some pitches, some 0-2 counts, and uh, not going to be much margin for error with uh, with their pitcher. And uh, you know, Adam, you tell me, Adam passed Frank Robinson today. That's pretty impressive. But uh, uh, my way in was good. Thought Bud was good too. So it was good to get everybody out there. Last few days, you now we got, you know, obviously some time off. The, the records are indicative four and five, but um, you know, a two point seven eight for ten. What is his record? Four and five, but a two seven eight ERA and one hundred and ten innings in the first half. I mean, you'll take that every time. I was. Oh, weigh in's been solid for us, and uh, you know, we after having him, you know, for a while, we got a pretty good idea what works with him and what doesn't, and he's really uh, taken to it, and he's been solid. And uh, I'll tell you something, too, that kind of goes unnoticed is how good he is in day games. That kind of tells you a little something about not only conditioning, but being ready. And, uh, you know, he uh, he's a guy when you, you're trying to move some things around or whatever that it always seems to fit in his, uh, his makeup. Scherzer was pretty dominant, but Adam seemed to have kind of figured him out. I mean, I don't know, Adam. Uh, you know, he had some had some success statistically against him. You don't ever feel like a guy like him. You figured him out. The guys know. You know, Adam just didn't quite finish a couple of breaking balls, and Adam got out there and strong enough. And the ball was carrying pretty good on the second one. First one, he, he got pretty good, but uh, he didn't make many mistakes. That's for sure. He's got so many ways to get you out. You know, he kind of uh, invents different um, shape to his breaking ball. He has a different, you know, he'll two-seam, four-seam the ball. He got bored a little bit. I think the fourth, fifth inning broke out the change up a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to get we, – we had three or four balls on the button that uh, we'd like to had fall in there. But, uh, you know, good pitchers seem to have that. We weren't many, probably two, maybe three. One of them was foul, so I can't count that one. So I was trying to think back through it. He didn't uh, – we certainly didn't present many uh, – Areas where he really had to go and, and reach back, so that's why he was able to maintain his stuff so long. You end the uh, first half, 44 and 44. In order to get the, in order to get where you want to get, what do you have to, what do you have to do in the second half to be better? Well, one thing you know, uh, I try to keep in mind that, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we had I think four or five guys that were missing in the first past the first half that we have back now. And I think that uh, whether it be Jonathan or Matt or J.J., Adam was down for a while. Uh, Gosman has been out for a while. You know, I, I try to stay on the positive side of that, that we're going to, looks like, knock on wood, they're going to uh, be there for us where we didn't have them. And we had some good people come in and keep us engaged in the competition, and, and we're there. And, um, you know, I have a lot of confidence, and I look at all the answers that, uh, that we're going to need are in our locker room and in our organization. And I'm very confident in, in the people we have. Bobby, how would you describe then the first half for your team? I mean, just... Uh, we talked about it, I think, the last three days. I'm trying to remember what I said, but I still feel the same way. Um, no, it, it's where we, it, it, you know, it, it, you are who you are at every point in the season. And um, it's, that's the beauty of baseball season in the big leagues you play so many games there's no cinderellas there's no flukes you are what you are and you know what's what you've done in april you have to be uh you know responsible for it good and bad so i think our best baseball is ahead of us i know i was really proud of the support we got the last three days here and i uh, just wish we could have you know it's it's a tough ride home, but uh, for me personally, but not as tough as this from for some fans that really went out of the way to support us, really the whole season. So that's uh, that kind of tugs at me. Doesn't kind of it does. You, you talked in the in the past about like you kind of joked about not being an NFL coach because you have to sit on a loss for seven days or whatever. I mean, you guys dropped ten of your last thirteen, and now you have four days. Is it going to be difficult for you and for your team? I mean, will there be some reflection? No difficulty. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Now there's a there's a guilt trip around every corner. I don't want them to feel that way. They've they've uh, their effort's been great. The want to's been there. You know I didn't know what our record was until he told me. I don't know what that 
this out of this many games you've won or lost. I, I don't get involved in that unless you guys tell me. It's uh, We're trying to win the next game. That's in Detroit, and I want these guys to get as far away from them as they can and um, take some uh, pride in uh, the way they've competed and knowing that it's still there for them. And, um, you know, we don't look at what somebody else is doing or can do it until we, you know, do the things that, that we can do and have done this year to be consistent. Uh, I don't know, we got 70-something games left, you'd have to tell me. So a lot of baseball left, and uh, we're engaged in the competition, and we'll continue to be. Good. Everybody be safe. Don't make any, do anything I wouldn't do.